Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate a 3D product in Adobe After Effects. In this video, we cover things such as working with GLP models, a stylizing background, and we will learn how we can animate the text with the help of time displacement effect. So before we proceed further, it would be nice of you to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Well, so as you know, After Effects recently got a major update, which was you can now import the GLB models into Adobe After Effects and then animate them directly. Now, before this update, if you wanted to animate a model like this can in here, you probably needed to know about the 3D modeling in software such as Blender or Cinema 4D. And as you have probably guessed, the 3D modeling is a bit hard. Now with this update, all you need to do is that, uh, for example, I'm going to use the site called Sketchfab and you need to download a model. And the thing about the model is that you need to make sure that you download the GLB file format. Otherwise, it won't be opened in Adobe After Effects. Now that you downloaded your model, it is time to import it to Adobe After Effects. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press Ctrl plus I and then I'm just going to import the Coca-Cola can GLB file. And as soon as I do that, you will see that I will have it in project panel. And if I drag it and I push it towards the timeline, now as you see, a box will appear. Well, this box is basically a simplified version of the transform where it basically asks you how you want to position your model. Well, I'm just going to decrease, for example, the scaling to 50% and then I'm just going to hit OK. Now, as you see, I will have this uh, model in here. And if I open the transform panel, it is the same as the 3D transform in the Adobe After Effects. However, if you pay close attention, you will notice that my render changed from the classic 3D to advanced 3D, which is a new re render inside of After Effects when you import a GLB model in Adobe After Effects. So now if I start to decrease its size, for example, now the cool thing is that I can now use the X, Y, and Z rotation to animate it like a 3D model inside of for example cinema 4d which is really nice now it has some downsides of its own for example you cannot add any effects to the uh, glb model as you see in here everything is grayed out the track mat doesn't work so basically it has um, you just you can just animate a model inside of after effect for now but we can still use a couple of tricks to enable the effects and preset tab on our GLB file. So for example, let's just animate this uh, layer. For example, I'm just gonna uh, set the rotation to uh, zero and then I'm just gonna go towards the six seconds and I'm gonna rotate it for two entire rotation. So as you see, I will have this animation. Now, along with the ability to import the GLB files, there is a new feature that came along and that is a new type of light. So to have access to this type of light, you can right click an empty space in here and in new, you can select light. Now, as you see, before this version of the After Effects, I mean 2024, there were only parallax, spot point and ambient lights. Now we have a new light called environment. Now, if I add the environment, as you see, now our object is a bit um, shiny. The light has increased, where which you can decrease or increase it by changing the intensity parameter. So I'm just going to set the intensity on 150. So this is basically our can animation. Now, assume this that I want to create a social media project featuring this bottle of can and a text that says original taste. So let's start. Now what I can do on the first step is that I'm just going to change the uh, composition size of this can. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller because right now it doesn't really fit. About here seems to be fine. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new composition and I'm going to call it uh, and I'm going to set its width and height on 1080 by 9020 and I'm going to call it main. And then I'm going to bring the can in here. 
and then I'm gonna go towards my asset panel and I'm gonna bring the rest of the files so I'm gonna bring the background in here and I'm gonna scale it like this and now let's reposition this background in okay and then on the next step I'm just gonna write the text original and so we can press enter and we can add the taste in here and I'm gonna change the font from the white black to just white light at this point and let's just set it on here all right so here's the basic design that we have in here and now it is time to stylize and make this animation better right now as you see the animation looks linear and that is okay but we can add some texture and some text animation to make this um, can animation a bit better now as I have previously mentioned you cannot use the effects and preset tab on the GLB models but the thing is that if you pre-compose this text and for example as you see I have pre-composed this coca-cola can already but if you turn it in still into 3d the after effect still treats it as a 2d layer but if you animate it for example as you see we have some animation basic animation in here now as you see the after effect will treat it as a for example a movie file which will solve this problem that you cannot add effects into the GLB model so this is nice now i have the ability to use the track mat or other function as well so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna turn off the 3d and then what i will do is that i'm just gonna duplicate this uh, layer let's call this one can and this one i'm gonna call it the can texture and i'm gonna bring the photo texture in here and then i'm gonna use the track map to track map the texture to the can and lastly i'm just gonna change the mode from the normal to add as you see our uh, can receive a texture which is nice and then i can add the curves effect and i can adjust it a bit like this which is quite nice all right so this is good now let's uh, even install this a bit further i can uh, and in bring the texture file i'm gonna set its mode on add and let's use the curves effect and let's remove some of the dots okay that is nice let's set our time indicator to six seconds and let's trim it and what i can do on the next step is that i'm just gonna add a photo texture in here and i'm gonna set its mode on add again and let's add a curves effect and let's adjust it like this so as you see now it looks much better all right now off to the text animation which i want to create a simple displacement text animation for this video so to do that what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to duplicate this layer and i'm going to change the font from the white to white bold and let's go to white black that seems fine and let's go from the light to thin so we can just go from the thinnest to the uh, heaviest font type possible so i'm just going to create a new shape same as the text and then i'm just going to delete these two layers and then i'm going to use the crazy shapes to set some path keys and let's make sure that we set our time indicator on zero and then i'm just going to go to one seconds and one second and 50 frames and then i'm just going to copy and paste the second set of keyframes so as you see i will have something like this and on three seconds i'm just gonna bring it back to its original position and then i'm gonna finish the loop like this so let's make sure that our composition is set on six seconds so right now it's missing a couple of frames 
Okay, that is nice. Now let's select all of the keyframes in here. I'm just going to select all of the path keys quickly in here. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the crazy shapes and I'm going to set the easings on 85%. Now let's make sure that everything else is it's on six seconds. Okay, and now it is time to create the displacement effect. Well, to do that, I'm just gonna create a new solder layer. I'm gonna call it displacement. And then I'm just gonna add this cell pattern because this will create a sort of a liquid um, displacement which is close to this type of animation that we do. So I'm just gonna set the contrast to 150 and the rest, I'm just gonna not change them and I'm just gonna add an expression I multiply by 500. So this will animate the cell pattern effect. And now let's turn off the displacement and let's go towards the text file. And I'm gonna add the time displacement effect. And now let's just set the um, time displacement layer to displacement, change the source to effects and masks, and then I'm going to change the max time displacement to 0.4 and the time resolution to 250. All right, so here's the animation that we have here that looks quite nice. But one major detail that we forgot to add is the shadow for this can. Well, to do that, what I can do is that I can create a new solid layer and I'm going to call it shadow and let's move it beneath the can layers. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the circle tool with the shadow layer selected. I'm just going to draw a mask like this. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn this mask into 3D and I'm going to rotate it on the X parameter and I'm going to reposition it in here. Okay, now what I can do is that I can press F to feather this mask. And now we have some nice shadow for our tech, for our can, which is nice. So here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.